Most of us have done wheelies on dirt bikes. It's hard not to, with all that power and relatively light bikes. However, this is one of the key areas where cross-training places more emphasis on balance and control instead of brute power. Why? Reasons for using less power include the rear wheel might just spin on loose or slippery terrain, there could be a tight turn or second obstacle just after you wheelie over a log, keeping the speed down if a wheelie is needed on a steep descent, and in gnarly terrain, more speed can mean less control. We can't stress enough the need to get out of using throttle alone. Your riding will improve in leaps and bounds when you go back to basics and learn some finesse. The slow wheelie. Start in first gear on a slightly uphill slope at low revs. Instead of power, focus on using your legs and suspension to get the front wheel up. In the standing position, push down hard on the foot pegs by quickly bending your knees. This compresses the suspension and stores energy in the front forks. Just as the bike starts to spring upward, blip the throttle, pull back gently on the handlebars and de-weight the foot pegs, e.g. throw your body weight upward by straightening your legs quickly. Done properly with good timing, your front wheel should come up very easily with very little throttle at all. As you become comfortable, keep lifting the front higher until you find the balancing point. It's a good idea to learn covering the rear brake at the same time. When the front wheel is fairly high, gently apply the rear brake to bring the front down again. Ideally, you should practice this until it becomes second nature. Your natural instinct will always be to jump off the bike when it passes the balance point, so you really need to work hard on this technique. Another important skill is learning where to drop your front wheel. When tackling large logs or high rock ledges, it becomes very important to be able to place your front wheel in a desired spot. So as you wheelie, practice landing your front wheel at a particular point. The ability to wheelie at faster speeds is a very handy skill for getting the front wheel across ruts, mud holes and small creeks. Normally, if you've never done wheelies before, you would start learning in second gear as the throttle response is not as severe or jerky as in first gear. As you become confident, try third and fourth gear as well. As you become comfortable with wheelies, try doing a small turn at the same time. This will come in handy when you start to learn floater turns and other advanced techniques. Try using the wheelie over obstacles like logs. As they get bigger, you will need to see weight, which will help lift the rear wheel up and over. Hopefully you have already started on the balancing exercises. Try balancing on your bike at a standstill and go straight into a slow, short wheelie. You never know when this can be handy in gnarly terrain. While not used in competition, longer wheelies are fun, help to develop your sense of balance and develop your ability to cover the rear brake effectively. While you're at it, try some gentle turns as well. This can be done by leaning your body in the desired direction and also turning your bars to either steer or counter steer while the front wheel is up. Try to wheelie as slow as possible and as long as possible. Try wheelies while sitting on the bike too. The vast majority of wheelies in practical situations will have you standing on the foot pegs, but the sit down wheelie can be useful at times as well. As mentioned, all these skills are far easier to learn on a trials bike. If you're serious about your dirt riding, consider getting an older used trials bike and start your techniques on that first, then transfer the skills across.